Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer on Sunday the 7th of November, the third Sunday before Advent. Our reading this evening is taken from Mark's Gospel, chapter 1, beginning to read at verse 14. Our psalm is Psalm 145, verses 1 to 9. And our prayers are being led by Carolyn. The light and peace of Jesus Christ be with you, and also with you. The glory of the Lord has risen upon us. Let us rejoice and sing God's praise forever. We have come together in the name of Christ to offer our praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive God's holy word, to pray for the needs of the world and to seek the forgiveness of our sins, that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may give ourselves to the service of God. Hear the words of comfort our Saviour Christ says to all who truly turn to him. Come to me, all who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Hear what St Paul says. This saying is true and worthy of full acceptance, that Christ Jesus came into the world, to save sinners. Hear also what St John says, if anyone sins we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. Jesus says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand, so let us turn from our sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and in faith. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbour as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Holy Spirit and raise you to life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. You led your people to freedom by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. May we who walk in the light of your presence acclaim your Christ, rising victorious, as he banishes all darkness from our hearts and minds. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 145 I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and praise your name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall lord your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendour of your majesty and on your wondrous works, I will meditate. 
the might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed, and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness, and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that he has made. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Magnificat My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. We now hear our Gospel reading. The Gospel reading comes from St Mark chapter 1 beginning at verse 14. Now after John was arrested Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat, mending their nets. Immediately he called them. And they left their father Zebedee in the boat with his hired men and followed him. Today Jesus calls his first apostles, Simon and his brother Andrew. And as we know, they were fishermen by trade. And as Jesus walked along the Sea of Galilee and saw Simon and Andrew, as they were casting their nets into the sea, Jesus simply and quietly says, come, follow me. And a little while later, he also calls James and his brother John, and they immediately drop their nets and follow Jesus. What was it about this man, Jesus, that enticed these hard-working fishermen to leave their livelihood their families and their homes to follow Jesus immediately. Was it his charisma? Was it his message? Was it his preaching? Or was it a call from deep within their very beings? Today Jesus is calling us just as he called his first apostles. And I wonder what our response might be. Would we tell Jesus that now is not a good time for us? Will we give him all the reasons why we can't pick up and follow him? 
or will we place our hope and trust in Jesus as these first disciples did? Will we eagerly follow him? I pray that we will. Amen. The Nunc Dimittis Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen thy salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. We affirm our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And Carolyn will now lead us in this evening's prayers. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, for you have called us out of darkness and into your most glorious light. In calling us, you give our lives direction and purpose. You offer us the opportunity to reveal your love and your presence in the world. Blessed are you. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, we give thanks that you have called us to know you and to love you. Keep our ears open to your call and our hearts open to your love. Bless, O Lord, each in their vocation, that every life may be filled with purpose and meaning through you. We pray for all who feel thwarted in their vocations, by circumstances or illness. May they know that God still calls them where they, where they are. And we pray for the mission to seafarers, all who care for those who work on the sea. Lord, you have called us. Help us to fulfil our calling. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We give thanks for all who are called to govern and guide the nations of the world. We ask your blessing on Elizabeth, our Queen. We pray for all who are called to bring peace and maintain peace throughout the world. We remember before you all who work upon the sea, fishermen and merchant seamen, all who are crewing lifeboats, all who are coast guards, we give you thanks for those who have taught us of you and your love, for those who have guided us in awareness of you. We ask your blessing upon our homes, our families and friends. May we reveal your glory in our lives. We remember all who are called to be parents and ask your blessing upon them and their children. We pray for any who feel unable to cope with their families or with relationships. Holy and strong one, we remember before you all who suffer from weakness or illness, all who suffer from being handicapped or restricted in their lives. May they know that you love them and continue to call them. We ask your blessing on all who are called to work in hospitals, surgeries, and health centres, and we pray for our own loved ones who are ill, 
And at this time we bring before you Terry Dix, Andy, Colin Orcutt, Jane McCarthy, Margaret Lawrence, Bill Robinson, Linda Matthews and all who are known to us. Lord, you call us to yourself and to life eternal. May we learn to enjoy you and our calling this day and forever. We rejoice in the fellowship of all your saints as we pray for our friends and loved ones who are departed from us. May we with them have a share in your eternal kingdom. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect for today, the third Sunday after Ad, uh, before Advent. Guard our refuge and strength. Bring near the day when wars will cease and poverty and pain shall end. That earth may know the peace of heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say together the words of our prayer. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray. And in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and in the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love, now and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. And we join together in singing a blessing to one another with the words of our Vesper prayer. May God's blessing surround you each day as you trust him and walk in his way. Go in peace.